Well, we are at one of the best places to hike during larch season. It's the third weekend of September, and we're up on Pocatera Ridge, and these are your golden larches turning color right now. Uh, there's something you need to know about hiking Pocatera Ridge, is it's about 11 kilometers, and it's really good as a point-to-point -point hike. So you park down at Little Highwood, and then you come and park up at the big Pocatera parking lot, and you do the hike, and then you go back and trade your cars. When you do that, you need to move your gear from one car to the other, and you need to make sure you bring everything. I didn't bring my hiking poles, so instead of doing a very steep 11 kilometer hike, we're going to do a short six kilometer hike up into this valley. It's just only a couple hundred meters of elevation. This is Ptarmigan Cirque in Larch season. Let's go. Right here at Highwood Pass, 2,200 meters above sea level. At the start, just make sure you're prepared. It's cold. Tooks. And this is what we came for, golden larches. A coniferous tree whose needles change color and drop. Weird. It's not really a long hike, but it's really pretty. You just climb pretty steeply up into the cirque and there's uh, larches right away, just a kilometer in. There is a loop around the cirque, and you're going to go and do it clockwise, like the sign says. This is pretty much all the elevation gain that we're gonna do. Now you get to wander around the cirque. A lot of uh, rocks, pretty desolate to explore. Mountains are awesome. And your larches are all right there just as you climb the valley to come up to the back. So the official trail only comes here just to the end of the vegetated area. There's still a lot of ptarmigan cirque to explore in behind. It's just kind of scrambly. You can go and wander and go wherever you want in there. But for the larches, it's really just all at the front of this uh, ridge. So that was a really quick hike. It only took about 40 minutes to get here. And that's it. It's uh, a nice little easy hike. You saw lots of families up here. If you want something that's no brainer and places to scramble and explore and see some larches. A uh, ptarmigan cirque is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go across the street now and check out Pocatera Cirque for more larch action. Okay, so that was Ptarmigan Cirque and now this is Pocatera. You can do the ridge or you can do the cirque. Uh, because I don't have my poles for coming down the ridge, we're just gonna go up the cirque. Uh, looking at it from the other side, it looks like there's explosions of larches. I like it when the larches just pop and it's all green. There's one yellow one. Hello. Yeah. Be an individual. Don't be afraid to stand out. This uh, intersection right here, you can go left up to Highwood Ridge but you stay right to go to Pocatera Ridge and Pocatera Cirque. And then go to the right. Try is a little messy in spots. Maybe you want to climb over dead trees or go through the bog. Trees. And then you pop out and you have a gorgeous valley of larches exploding everywhere. It's a busy trail, very busy during larch season and you can see why. Okay, so it's a really easy hike just to break out 
into the bowl here. Much better than Ptarmigan Cirque. If you want just an easy little hike, just go up a bit of Pocatera. And it's just an explosion. We are only partway up to Pocatera Cirque. Uh, the ridge is up in behind, and it's a gong show. It's a Saturday. It's the third weekend in September. As you can tell, the larches are bursting. There are so many groups here and so many people and kids and dogs. So we've pulled off into a gully. We're going to have some lunch and then go home. It's like Disneyland. So come during the week. It is beautiful. It is very, very busy. Uh, we are coming down at 1230 and check out the parking lot. It's nuts. So larches are only out for about mm, two weeks. If you want to see them, you got to see them. Uh, do it on a weekday. And I would recommend Pocatera Cirque, a Ptarmigan Cirque for a nice little bump. And if you really want to get after it, Pocatera Ridge does the whole way. But the best part is here at the Highwood Pass. All three trails meet, so if you forget your poles, you've got a choice. Uh, all the links for the reviews and more information are down below, and we'll catch you next time on the trails. <laughs>